Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's site. How the devil are you, mate? Today, we are looking at some freaky deaky videos. This channel is called Sir Spooks. You may have heard of them. Yes, indeed, mate. It's gonna be some freaky deaky videos on here, mate. This weekend just gone, mate. I've got maximum sun. But I've got sun in the wrong places. Like, I put cream on. Here's a finger mark of where I put cream. My missus put cream on my back. How did I miss... How... I don't know how I missed it. I don't know. This video is called five scary videos that will freak you out. So make sure you go over to the channel, subscribe and do the thing. Okay? Oh, I, let's just go effing mental, mate. Let's get it freaky, man. Let's go. Without further ado, our diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. Go on, spooks. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five scary videos that will freak you out. Come on! In this video posted to Reddit by the user Shaolin Popeye, we watch. Hey, who has a bloody doll? Uh, who has a mannequin behind them? Is that his bedroom as well? Like what? What the f, mate? Three guys in what seems to be either a Zoom call, podcast, or live stream as they can be seen smiling and talking with one another at the beginning of the clip. But in just a matter of seconds, these smiles quickly turn into unease. Let's have a look together and find out why. Mate, oh, the cool. first two films are amazing. So, there we go. That is end of round number three. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Did you guys just see that and hear that? <laughs> I no. heard like a bonk. What? Did you not hear that noise? I heard a bonk, oh, no. yeah. My suitcase just moved across the room by itself. <laughs> Look, it's right there. That was not there a second ago. Yeah. What? If you listen very closely, you can hear a single banging noise that is seemingly coming from the one man's bedroom, as well as an object moving into view. But when he looks around the room to do a quick investigation, he doesn't see how it could have possibly happened. Mate, the cool. first few films are amazing. <laughs> So there we go. That is end of round what number. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa! Did you guys just see that and hear that? <laughs> I heard like a bonk. What the hell, mate? He must have been on that call for quite some time, right? If they're talking about movies or whatever. His reaction was legit. I can't explain that, mate. Unless, like, there was, like, an earthquake of some sort. But in England, I very much doubt it. Let's go. He proceeds to ask his two other friends if they heard the noise as well. And they both confirm that they did. Sadly, even though this video is over two months old, there doesn't seem to be any updates regarding this particular situation. But let's cross our fingers that we get more to this story someday soon. It's a bloody mannequin! He's packed his bags, he's effing off, mate. He's like, fuck it, mate, I'm off. I'm off, F you, you bloody Zoom chat. I'm getting my, I'm getting my shit and going. <laughs> what? YouTuber Bushmaster076 says that at 2.43 p.m. on February 9th, 2020, he was inside of his house in Fairfield, Ohio, relaxing and Big was feeding foot? his dog when the two of them suddenly started to hear some strange noises coming from somewhere close by outside. The noise must have been really loud in the home because Bushmaster says that he quickly ran outside to try to investigate the source. The uploader proceeds to head outside and start filming, and what he ends up capturing is definitely nothing short of eerie. Mm -hmm. Take a look and have a listen. Is that a wolf? Mate. What? 
What the hell? That's not that's not a wolf. It, that sounds is that a dog? It's not bloody Bigfoot, mate. I don't know if I believe in Bigfoot. Do you believe in Bigfoot? I don't know, mate. This kind of growling noise doesn't necessarily sound like it could have been coming from any ordinary animal, like a dog or a bear or something. In fact, Bushmaster has a theory that he may have captured audio evidence of Bigfoot in the Fairfield. Oh, come on, look at the state of that, mate. Like, that, 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 that photo is so old that... I don't know, mate. I don't believe in... I don't think I believe in Bigfoot. ...area, and judging by these creepy sounds, it doesn't seem like too far-fetched of a theory, but this could of course just have been a normal animal. Right, let's pick up the pace. As a society, let's go. Come on. we all like to collectively believe that the majority of people populating the planet are good-natured people that have our best interests at heart. We don't like to believe that others around us would be creepy or have sinister intentions. Sadly, as we all know, however, this is not always the case. While there are a lot of good-natured people out there, there are also a lot of creepy people in the world, and one of the most unsettling types of these people are stalkers. People who will literally follow you home and watch your every move when you least expect it. In this video uploaded by TikTok user Carolina Judah, we see her heading home alone late at night after spending time at a boyfriend's house. But unfortunately for Carolina, this trip back home was not at all comfortable. Take a look. Yeah, it's some bloody weirdos out there, mate. Hey, weirdo, look at you. Get a bloody life, mate. Get a bloody life. The worst situation in my life when I came home at night, I was coming home from my boyfriend on the last bus. I saw a strange man standing behind the bus stop, oh, mate, but I ignored him. Moments later, he started following me. Oh, I fuck. wanted to run, but I was afraid that he would run after me. He started to walk faster and oh, faster. Oh no, mate. Fucking Rambo it! Like, wow! At some point, he started shouting something, so I thought he was just drunk. But he still followed me home. What? Around the bend, I started to run all the way to the house. When I was entering the house, I couldn't see him anywhere. But 20 minutes later, I heard the bell. We have it by the gate. I called my mom, very fast, because this man was standing right in front of my house. Oh, you fucking dickhead. Like, what? It's people like you that give fucking men a bad name for women. That's what makes women fucking freak out. Because it's twats like you. Like, 99.99% .99 of the fucking men out there are all right. It's just you little fucking weirdo bastards. That's why you're making them freak out staring at the windows and began to move closer at this point i had a panic attack and the worst part of it all Call the fire he walked across the garden to the door and began to yank the handle oh you i locked myself in the bathroom and waited for my mom and dad because no one was home Call after the 15 minutes he stopped but I was there for another hour until my parents returned from work. Why didn't she call the police? Just even to do a drive-by, like the police should just drive by. Hey, hey, weirdo, fuck off home. Gratefully, the stalker eventually went away, but it does not make the situation Carolina was in any less terrifying. This event documented by Caroline just goes to show that anything is possible in this world, and danger can literally be lurking around any corner. Wow, look at you, mate. Hey, look at you. Maunus Masson on TikTok has had an inkling for a while now that the house he lives in is haunted. Although he doesn't give a backstory on what made him think his house is haunted, he insists that it is, and says that nobody he knows believes him when he says his home is haunted. So he decided to record himself sleeping to prove something to his viewers. Okay. What he captured was indeed creepy. Mate, it's fucking snow. It's snowing in his bloody bedroom right now. What is go okay? 
It could be just dust. It's probably just dust. It seems very light in there, doesn't it? Like, is he sleeping in the day? What the fuck? The object near his bedroom door moving slowly into view and collapsing onto the floor certainly is quite creepy. It also helps that Maunus provided a real-world clock that shows the passing of time and confirms that none of this has been edited, further proving the authenticity of the clip. Maunus says that he might make follow-up videos to this one in the future, so let's hope that he does. Or better yet, hopefully he moves into a house that's- Mom! Mom! Yeah, I'm just gonna make a ghost video a minute, alright? I'm gonna go sleep, but in about an hour and a half time, I've attached a piece of string to the to this thing. It's outside the door. Can you just can you just pull it in about half an hour? No, an hour and a half. Hey, you just pull the string. That's what you have to do. Just pull the string in an hour and a half. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll do my own work. I'm just having. I'm just making a video. Just pull the string in an hour and a half. Jesus. It's not haunted before it's too late. Did I do it, love? Did I, did I, yeah, you did it, mum, thanks, yeah. The Paranormies may be a medium-sized YouTube channel right now. Paranormies? But they people, keep on ask, people keep on telling me to go react to their, like, their channel. Paranormies. I've got to go, right, okay, fine. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to react to their channel right now. But they create some of the most interesting and creepy abandoned building exploration style videos on the platform. Mm. Each video is quite lengthy, which gives the viewer a good look at the inside of the place they're investigating. In this video published to their channel in May of 2021, the group head out to the Union Point Church to do some exploring, and the many results are shocking to say the least. Close to the 10 minute mark in the video, two unsettling things happen that are sure to make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Watch this. Okay. When things like that you see it is kind of freaky. Whoa. Whoa. Fuck! Whoa. Whoa. Oh. This is a very old building too. Like, Peter, Peter. Peter. is that your name? Peter. If you listen carefully, you can hear a strange voice quickly say the name Peter. One week after this video was uploaded, the paranormies say that they found out that a man died there years ago, and scarily enough, his name was Peter. A couple of minutes later, during the investigation, something else creepy happens with the doorknob. Sleeping. Is my stomach? It's I just saw, is that? Oh. What was that? What the hell was that? Bye. It sounded like a- Bye? Sleep. He's opened the bloody door, mate. He's doing the hand door. He's like, bye, see you later, mate. I'm gone, motherfucker, I'm gone. Give a door hand or something. That sounded like a door A bit later on, the group attempts to use the Ovulus device one more time and listen to the two chilling words it says. Instead of saying Peter this time around, the Ovulus says the name Jackson. Like, oh, man, just Peter Jackson! Jackson. No, that's, like, that's just thought Michael Jackson. I don't know why. Something like, oh, graveyards, man. <laughs> Jackson. The paranormies clarify. Jackson Five is top, top five ghosts. It's Jackson. Find that where they are investigating, the name is extremely uncommon to the point where it's essentially a rarity to find someone with that name. In addition, they say there was an entire family with the last name Jackson that were buried outside the church in the cemetery. Just three minutes later into their night they notice something odd going on with the stained glass windows as well as another voice coming from the ovulus. Watch this. Oh, here we go, here we go. come on. Window. It won't do it on that window, only this one. Look. Why would that be? If I shine it to that window, the light on that window, it won't pick it up. 
The light's shining on that one. It's not even shining on the window that's over there. But I'm not being funny, but why would a, why would a ghost be standing on a window ledge? Why would a ghost be standing on a window ledge? It's clearly, it's clearly like the, the cross here making it look like legs of some sort, you know? Oh, okay, it's picking up, you know. It, it, think, it thinks it's a bloody body, mate. I'm trying to debunk it here. Go to that window. It should go to that window. Shine the light on the thing. Shine the light. What's it keep reaching for on the ceiling? Shine the light on the, on the window. That's arms, legs, that's everything. Shine the light on the window. It's gotta be the window though, somehow. Peter, is it Peter again? At the end of the first part of the investigation, the Paranormies find a wide array of headstones adorning the grass, and you'll never believe what the names are. Peter. Jackson. Jackson. Jackson? The last name Jackson. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. Are you kidding me? Dude, really? Look at the tops. Look at the top of that. Jackson. Jackson. Jackson down there. B bottom. Jackson. Peter, oh, maybe? Bottom. And Jackson. Peter? Did it say Jackson three times? It said Jackson once. To kick things off in part two, the group is exploring throughout the church's interior when they suddenly hear something that catches them completely off guard. What was that? What was that? What? I swear, like I heard something over here. Like, almost like something sliding. Really? Yeah. Definitely. Oh, fuck off, mate. No way. Here? Did you hear that? That was three. three knots. Oh! Fuck me up. That shadow, mate, just scared the crap out of me. Oh. Then about five minutes later, when one of the guys approaches one of the windows of the church, this camera manages to pick up something terrifying, and then two minutes later, another completely unexplainable event happens. Oh my god, there it is. He's there. He's right in there between. He is. Peter, if that's you, can you make a no noise from that door? That's where the knocking was coming from. Yeah. And I'm gone. Right after that, you feel the building move too. That's when I was. Did you hear what? that? What was that? Was that just? That, was that I don't know. That could. No, there, there it was. What is that? What is? That? What the fuck? Something like sliding on the floor. Sounds like something like like a shoe on like a yeah. basketball court. Is it like a is it a bird maybe? At this point, the paranormies are surely getting quite freaked out. But against all odds, they manage to put on their brave faces and press on with the investigation. While sitting on one of the church benches, they witness some seriously strange activity that seems to last for a good few minutes. See, I'm not too sure about the SLS super, super licky slit sexy things, you know? Because they can pick up so many, like, shapes. It looks like people. You know, anything that has a cross on it and a, you know, you know it, look, it, it pops up like a bloody, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think about the super licky sexies? Take a look at this creepy stretch of footage. Oh, the door. My God. Is that Jack? Who is that? Oh, mate. Are you going to slam? Oh, Fuck Holy off! Shit. No, no. Oh what? Okay. Oh my god. So Joy! What the hell, mate? This just went to another level! Oh my god, he's f***ing. Open it! Dude, the in the f***ing tripod just came flying at me. It was locked. What's he doing in there? Why are you locked in? Thought I heard something.
Tell me to bend. Right. Oh my god. Jordan. Jesus Christ. As the investigation it was, it was he locked in? reaches its end, the group is nearly ready to call it a day and pack their things. But before they start heading home, they are in for one last unsettling encounter. Upstairs. Victoria? Was he? Did matey lock it from, did unlock it from the outside? I couldn't see. I, I, fuck it, I'm gonna have a look. Oh my god, he's f***ing Open it! Dude, the f***ing... The like, I, 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 like that was the indoor lock that it could he could have locked himself in, but it seemed like he reached for something up here, like you know, like something, some sort of slider that locks. I don't know what the hell. But before they start heading home, they are in for one last unsettling encounter. Upstairs. Victoria. Oh my god! What is going on? Holy sh! Shit, mate. What? Holy shit. Grab that light. Rambo it! Oh my god. Oh, you're having a laugh, mate. You're having a laugh. Okay. If that's you, stop for a little bit. Holy shit. As you can probably see, the Paranormies two-part video on the Union Point Church is fascinating and just goes to show how disturbing the church's past really is. Wow. We all like to think of churches as safe places to go to, but one thing is for sure, the Union Point Church is the exact opposite of safe. And that was 5 scary videos that will freak you out. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video. Okay, mate. Okay. There you go, mate. That was Sir Spooks. Five scary videos that will freak you out. Absolutely. I mean, there weren't many jump scares and stuff like that, you know, but some of that was proper, like, you know, messed with your mind. Like, what, what the hell? Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, leave a little like, mate. And if you're new to the channel, how about subscribing? And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.